Welcome to the He Said, She Said podcast, episode four. I'm Cal. And I'm Zan. And today we're going to talk about corporal punishment. And what I mean by corporal punishment is, as far as like spanking your kids, your kids getting beaten, your kids getting whoopings for certain behavior and certain things that they do as far as acting out. And we're just going to give our opinions on it and we're going to talk about it and give you all some information about it. So, let's go. I guess I'll start. Duh. Um, I'm all for corporal punishment. I feel like if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. I'm old school in that area. I do feel like at a certain age, like whoopings are going to stop working. But I do think whoopings should be... What age is it? Incorporated in... Raising your child, it should be a form of discipline. Like, my son is 10 years old. We're almost the same height. It's, like, really weird trying to whoop him. So, instead of whooping him, I take things away from him and put him on punishment that way. Those whoopings wouldn't be effective now anymore. Well, I disagree with her, which I do most of the time. I don't believe in whoopings. I believe in punishments. I believe in stern reinforcements. I believe in um I believe in stuff such as like okay, when I used to get in trouble in school and I got a paddling, it hurt for that moment. But you know, five minutes later, I'm right back on the desk acting crazy. But when my teacher used to make me hold books and like, you know, they used to make, okay, hold books or they used to make you like write 500 times on the board. I will not do. To me, that hurt way more than a whooping did. Like holding seven dictionaries, man. If my teacher said, you want a paddling or you want to hold seven dictionaries, I'd be like, let me get that paddling. Because I know it's going to be pap, 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 and it's over with. But them dictionaries, man, no, that's something else. So, I, it, I'm getting off subject. Anyway, I don't believe in whoopings simply because they don't work. And this is coming from the whooping expert. And what I mean by that is, I done got more whoopings than me and her combined. She was good. I wasn't good. I was bad. I was bad. I got suspended from school. I got expelled from school. My mama was at the school every two days clearing a suspension. I was that kid. I got whoopings. Belts, extension cords, phone cords. My mama called me in the tub one time, whooped me when I was in it. It does not work. So I don't understand whoopings at all. What about them? Don't you understand? They don't work. Like, okay, you get a whooping and it hurt for that that moment. But then, okay, 10 minutes later, you know, stop crying. You you know, stop doing that, whatever that's called. And I'm I'm right back to I'm turning up again in the class. I'm like, they, they like, you got a whooping. I'm like, yeah, I got a whooping. But hey, right back turning up, right back spitting spitballs at the teacher and squirting the teacher with the water gun and I'm right back doing what I was doing. Whoopings don't work. When my, my son is three, my son will not be getting whoopings at all because I've learned that if I talk to him, it works better than actually whooping him. And another reason I don't believe in whoopings is because people don't study where beatings and whoopings came from. Our ancestors used to get beatings if they didn't pick cotton fast enough or if they got caught stealing food from a, someone stealing food from somewhere where they wasn't supposed to get it or something like that they got lashings for that they got beatings for that they got tied up got their hands tied up and their feet tied up sometimes and they got beatings to the point where their back was bleeding and they had whips in their back and they couldn't even work the next day to, so the, so basically, the slave master was proving a point to the other slaves. So I feel like that was passed on, and we don't even know where we got whoopings from. Like, we don't even know where it derived from. We don't know where it originated from. 
but yet we whoop our kids and we we never think like where did i learn this from you learned it from your parents your parents learned it from their parents who did they learn it from but you don't think that deep into it that it's a mind thing like we continually do things not knowing where they came from but if we knew where they came from maybe we wouldn't do them You made a good point. However, some kids, they, I mean, they cool. They grow up, be upstanding citizens, and they never got not one whooping. But it's some kids, you don't whoop them, then they running over their mama. Or they talking to their daddy crazy. Like, my son don't get whoopings now from me. But when he was getting whoopings, and I would say, stop before I whoop you, he'll stop. So now I can say, stop before I take your phone, or stop before I take your game, and he'll stop. So I really think it's based on the age, based on the child. Some children don't need whoopings. Me, I probably had like two or three whoopings my whole life. And most of them hurt my feelings more than anything. Because I wasn't used to getting whooped because I was always a good girl. So, because I didn't want my feelings hurt again, I didn't do certain things to not get a whooping. I mean, I remembered, now nah, I, I don't think I want to do that again because for one, that whooping hurt, two, my feelings was hurt. But I know not all kids think the way that I used to think. Um... Well, she said she had two whoopings. I probably had 200 whoopings. And I'm for real. Ask Deborah. She know. I probably had 200 whoopings. I'm telling you. If you raise your kid the right way. The right way. And you just got to teach your kid like not to let outside influences influence them to do crazy stuff. Like, I'm one of them kids, I knew right from wrong, and I never did wrong, wrong, but I did wrong. Like, I never, I wasn't a kid that brought a gun to school, but I was a kid that spit spitballs at the teacher. You see what I'm saying? Or I was a kid that, you know, when the teacher was turned around, she might turn back around and it'd be a big piece of paper flying toward her head. You know what I'm saying? I was that kid. I was the kid when that like when the kids walked down the hall, my desk was in the hallway because the teacher put me out of the class every day. They like, bro, you in you in the hallway again? Yep, I'm in the hallway again. Teacher put me out again. I was that kid, and I used to get whoopings for it. But at the same time, to me, I wasn't doing nothing. Like I wasn't doing nothing too much wrong. Like I was doing, I was. And then I, I made good grades, too. Like, I had good grades in school. So, I felt like, hey, I'm getting A's and B's. So, why I can't act up? Like, you know, I don't need no E in conduct. conduct. To me, conduct is overrated. If your child got an N in conduct and they got all A's, why do you care? Because you worried about what other people think of your child instead of what you think. If my son come home, he got an end in conduct. He got all A's. You know what? I don't even care. Why should I? I don't care. That mean, that mean my child really smarter than your child. Because your child might have B's and C's and then have an E in conduct. What that mean? Oh, they, they was quiet in class and they were well behaved, but they don't understand nothing that's going on in the class. Whoopings do not work. I talk to my son every day. He understand what I'm saying. I don't whoop my son at all. And he understand everything I'm saying. I might raise my voice. That's what I mean by reinforcing my... Carter, sit down. He gonna sit down. I ain't gotta... Bam, hit him upside the head. Carter, sit down. For what? And then you don't feel like that you, you kind of like mentally and physically abusing your children. No. It's not abuse. She a little white let a white person see you beating your child in a grocery store. For one store. thing, a Caucasian person cannot tell me how to discipline my child. They gonna call the police. They cannot call no police. They, call the police. they hung us from trees. 
They beat us. We not talking about that. You getting but off I'm subject. Saying, I'm not getting off subject. I'm just telling you why they can't they can't tell me how to discipline bro, my go, child. Bro, don't call me when you go to jail, bro. No. Can't nobody tell me how to discipline my child. So, as long as I'm not beating him upside the head, he don't have bruises and all that kind of stuff, shouldn't nobody be telling me nothing about how I discipline my child. Because I'm not going to come to be like, oh, Corey, please go sit down. But you, it's like, not going to say sit. it like that. Exactly. But that's the way they be talking to their kids and it don't work. Them kids be running all over them. Do my son run all over me? Nope. And I don't put my hands on him anymore. So you don't feel like that you really never had to put your hands on him since you don't have to anymore? I feel like I don't have to anymore because his level of understanding and respect is a lot higher. That's another thing. It depends on how much your child understands and respects you. Like if your child don't respect you, don't care about what you say, you can whoop them all day long. They still going to continue to do the same stuff because they don't care. But I have a son who actually does care about what I think and how it makes me feel. So now I use different tactics. So I say, Corey, um, what you did today, that really hurt my feelings. And it'll start to make him feel bad. Like, what you say? I sound like what? A white person. <laughs> a white person. <laughs> Bro. Well, Corey, you really hurt my feelings today. I'm telling you, it was working. <laughs> so, there was an incident the other day at the school, and his teacher had to call me. And I talked to him. It's like, okay, you keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to take your phone. When Corey got out of school that day, he texted me and said, I'm sorry that my teacher had to call you at work today. Which is, to me, that's growth. He, he know what he did wrong. He faced what he did wrong, and he apologized for what he did wrong. So, what I'm saying is right. You don't have to whoop your kids to prove a point. You can always talk to them. You can always take things away. My son is three. If I tell my son right now, you can't watch horse because it's this stuff. It's something called spirit. It's a horse cartoon that come on Netflix. If I sit, tell him he can't watch horse, I can get him to do anything I want him to do. You can't watch horse. Cut horse off. He finna cry. He'll do anything I tell him to do. Anything. My son, three, if I say, you can't watch horse unless you go to Kroger in my car and go get some groceries, he'll learn how to drive to go get them groceries because he want to watch that horse cartoon that he be watching. And uh, what's the other one called? Uh, PJ. Yeah, PJ Mass. Yeah, if I tell him he can't watch PJ Mass, he'll do anything I tell him to do. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's a certain age. I he three. This cause you started early talking and stuff. I wouldn't. I was a young mother. So basically, well, I wasn't really young. So was basically, 21. people that don't properly take care of their kids have to whoop them. Is that what you're saying? I, I did not say that. No, I did not say that. Shame. You almost made me act like the old me. I wouldn't like, want say something that the old that, me would that, say. That don't mean that she was gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah, she abuses me. That's not true. I don't put my hands she, on people. She was gonna hit me. You guys don't know what happens off camera. <clears throat> Back to the subject. Right. Anyway, like I was about to say before, I was rudely interrupted. Um. I don't even know what I was about to say. Ah, Why you even interrupting? You want to tell me nothing. How you going to say I wasn't I was, about I was saying that if you don't properly raise your kids, then you have to whoop them. I don't believe that's necessarily true. Because it's some people who take out the proper amount of time for their kids. They teach them right from wrong. They spend a lot of time with them. Like They have a really good relationship with their kids. But their kids just mischievous and sometimes they have to spank their hands or something and i don't think it's all because of pro improper parenting. but see i believe in spanking hands though like you know a little boop on the hand but i don't believe in the red marks on the back and on the leg and the six seven hits with the switch and the switches tied together and the belt i don't believe in all that that's a whooping i used to get those 
Now, a little pop on the hand, bow. Sit down now. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. I also feel that, like, the main issue is mostly these days, people are having kids too young. True. They are half parented themselves. True. So they are going into a situation half parenting also. That is one of the main issues. Like, I wasn't raised by my parents. So that's one of the reasons why I really didn't receive a whooping because I was raised by my great grandparents and they were already old when they had us. So, I mean, they didn't even have the, the really the strength and stuff to, to whoop kids. I mean, we were like, we were big kids. So, um, that's one of the main issues, but I wasn't, I was taught right from wrong, but it's a lot of stuff that I wasn't aware of. I was kind of naive on a lot of things. So I went into parenting being naive because I, I didn't really have my mom around. So I didn't know how to be a mom. So I had to figure it out. And I figured I've been taught that you whoop your kids when they do something bad. So that's what I did. And I still kind of believe in it because some kids you just can't say go sit down and they go sit down. You have to pop them or not abuse them. But you know what I mean. Well, but to me, it's based off of how I, you were raised. I, I think that as black people, and I hate to talk about race, but as black people, I feel like that we are, that we pass down a lot of toxic things to each other. Like, <clears throat> you got other races, when their kids born from birth, they teach their kids to eat salads and fruit and vegetables. But we not teaching our kids that soon as they born. Like, we wait until we get fat or the doctor say we got diabetes or the doctor tell us we got high blood pressure to adapt a new lifestyle of eating. But why not teach our kids that from day one, like other races do? It's just really going back to what I already said. We're not teaching our kids that because we weren't taught that. It's a lot of people who still, I mean, who still consider hot dogs and chips and Kool-Aid as a dinner for a child. I personally don't. I don't even buy stuff like that. Like, my son actually eats salads and vegetables and stuff. He's still a, a stocky boy, but it's because he just likes to eat. But my son knows what's healthy and what's not healthy. And that's only because I taught him that because I dealt with being overweight and I don't want that to be something that he deals with. So, it's going back to what I said. It's based off of how you were parented. And my folks ate every part of the pig and the hog. I chose not to because I thought it was nasty. But if I didn't think it was nasty, I'd be eating the stuff too. And my son would be eating it too. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I feel like that we we scared to think outside of the box. Like, my mama whooped me. And I'm sure my grandma whooped my mama. But I'm choosing not to whoop my child, so I'm thinking outside of the box. I'm not saying, oh, my mama whooped me, and her mama before her whooped her, and her mama whooped her, so I'm going to just continue it on. I'm going to continue doing what my family been doing all these years. No, I'm thinking outside of the box, and I'm trying to find a better way to get the same result. We scared to think outside of the box. We scared to think different from the next person because we scared, oh, you don't whoop your kids? Well, I whoop my kids. I don't know what's wrong with him. Why he don't whoop his kids? He crazy. Shoot, these kids need a whooping these days. These kids get... I don't care what you say. I'm going to raise my child away. I want to raise my child, and I'm going to get the same result or, it, or an even better result than you're going to get because whoopings don't work. And I'm done. In my opinion, just 
whoopings don't work. You also need to have another form of discipline because just whoopings won't work. It's going to play out eventually. But you hit it where it hurts. Take that stuff. It's going to work. So they going to want their phone back. They're going to want their TV privilege back. They're going to want their game back. They're going to be able to go outside. They're going to want to go somewhere fun. If you keep telling them no, 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 they're going to eventually start acting right. Well, you heard what she said. You heard what I said. If you agree or disagree, comment below. Like and share. This is the He Said, She Said podcast, episode four. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.